After months of delays, Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry says the unfinished Berkman 2 high rise will finally come down next month. City says the building is a public safety risk. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is live near the Berkman 2. And Aaron, the day is set. Mark your calendar. Sunday, March 6th at 10 o'clock that morning. That is when this building is going to be coming down. And city leaders, they say it's about time. The Berkman 2, a more than decade old eyesore along the North Bank, will be gone in March. The city of Jacksonville should be praying and rejoicing with me that March the 6th, it, that, that day will come that it'll be over with. This building still standing after a deadly construction accident stopped work back in 2007. Councilman Reggie Gaffney, who has been pushing for the implosion, says tearing it down has to be done safely. The hardest part took so long. You know, often when you see something, oh, you want to just tear it down the next day. But when you deal with that kind of structure, you had to worry about all the elements that's around. You had to worry about Burtman 1. You had to worry about the jail house. You got to worry about production and walking. The city of Jacksonville will spend up to $1.2 million to pay for the implosion. There was a dispute between the developer and the contractor over payment. There were also safety concerns. Talking to the mayor and his staff and some of my colleagues, everybody excited that that's going to be a victory for the city of Jacksonville. Gaffney optimistic of growth and redevelopment on the bank after this building comes down. Mayor Curry says he does not expect any more delays, so March 6th will be the day, and News for Jacks will be here when that happens. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.